Hello fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 70. Today is August 19th, 2019. On today's show I have works in progress, I have some purchases, I have knitting and spinning. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice. I've got water today, which I need a drink here, sorry. Your craft of choice and let's chat. <sighs> let's see, today is my mother's birthday, so happy birthday mom, love you. We went out to their house last night for dinner. We brought dinner and a cake and our sons were able to come. The fiance was able to come and little man stole the show by running around and having a really great time. But yeah, we are on flood watch. So hopefully that won't happen. They opened the dikes, I think yesterday or Saturday. So hopefully that will handle everything and they did have to close part of the road because there was, um, well in Denali the road closed stranding, st stranding 300 uh, visitors because of a mudslide but they got them out and everything was fine. We have a road closed because of fire. So not only are we flooding but we're also on fire still. So this has been a very interesting year all around <laughs> all around so yeah and you know that YouTube will pick out the funny eyed patty and not the other patties because that's usually what it does it picks out the eyes or the mouth open or something <sighs> anyway <laughs> shall we get on with the stitching I think so so this last well last week was the school of magical stitches we had to do owls so all of my stitching last week except for one project had to do with owls so uh lady of the flag mira monday i'm doing that on 32 count preamble i picked this one for herbology and she is off the cue snaps because all of the crosses are done so now it is back stitching and beading time. So I will bring her in. So I did 200 stitches for homework on the leaves. So that was so exciting. I got the leaves and the twigs all done. So after the video, I will be doing laundry and starting the cross, the back stitching and beading on her. That's so exciting. So. The next section of homework, I pulled out Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. Is it upside down? No. So I'm doing this one on 40 count heritage. Two over, no, one over two. There we go. One strand over two floss or uh, lines. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Sorry, guys. My mind just went pink, and I'm not restarting this. This is like the fifth time, and I'm not going to. I'm just hoping that this goes well. Okay, so let me get my list and my glasses because I can't read my own handwriting without my glasses. So astronomy, I worked on. I put a moon in. Um, charms, I worked on the mummy. Um, <laughs> history, I did a ghost, and muggle studies, I did the train. So, and study of the defense against the dark arts, I did the vampire. So, that's really exciting. I'm very happy with how that's turning out. And I got quite a bit of work done on this. And this one will come out again for this week's homework, which I will talk about when I start explaining my plans. And then I did Long Dog Samplers, Death by Cross Stitch. And I'm doing this one on 32 count. Bisque by Lakeside Linens. And I just did a study of magical creatures 
and runes. So I said the runes was because <clears throat> there's all these symbols, so those are runes. And then I worked on Pegasus, so that was my magical creature. So I think I did like two to three hundred stitches on this only. I didn't do a whole bunch on it. Because this is definitely one I have to be in the mood for. And I was kind of in the mood for it, but then I was kind of not. <laughs> and then the last homework assignment I worked with um, Mummy's Moonlight Cafe by Praiseworthy Stitches. I am doing this on 28 Count Haunted. If I picture this plus. And this is a cashew linen. So on this one, I did trans... Configuration and potions so I did the block down there for the potions I just said I picked up things to make a potion in the in the cafe and for transfigurations I changed the cat or I changed a bird into a cat but it didn't quite work because when I was changing him back he tweeted instead of purred so I thought that was funny and hopefully they will think it's funny um, <clears throat> the only problem I might have is with the mummy because I thought about the charms inside the mummy, but that's not what they were talking about. They were actually meaning the charms that you use for waving your wand, but I also said the incantations. So incantations, charms, it could be the same. It could, it could, but I don't know. If they don't take it, then I don't get any credit for the extra the extra credit ones so we'll see you know it's fake points you know it really is it's just fake points so on the 18th instead of doing the Christmas stitch I did my marabilia that I started last year on the 18th and I did touching the autumn sky I am doing this on 32 count Lugana in the stellar colorway by picture this plus and boy, these holes are small. So I would say that this is maybe a 34 to a 36 because it really shrunk. But anyway, <laughs> I did quite a bit. I got all sorts of different leaves. So you can see that there's a lot of confetti. A lot of color changing. But yeah, I only had the top, the top row done. So I added a whole bunch of colors and things. So I'm really happy with how this one's turning out. So yeah. Very, very happy with that. <clears throat> and that, my friends, were, was all the stitching that I did last week. But I did quite a bit on quite a number of them. I could have done more, but I could have used a whole bunch more for um, Halloween at Hop Run Hollow. But I got tired of doing that, so I have liked changing out my patterns I really do like changing out my projects I did at first I wasn't sure if I was going to but I do I like changing it daily or every other day I worked on Hawk Run Hollow for three days so by the third day I was ready to stop <laughs> I was ready to move on because I wanted to work on something else so that and it gives you guys more to look at this week's homework, so plans, this week's homework, I'll bring it up here, is, okay, this one is saying that the headmistresses are back and that um, Umbridge is in trouble. So, on there's three parts to it. Part one, you pick one, A or B, and it's in celebration of the 11 Death Eaters being captured. Please work on your 11th whip off of your whip list. I only had 10, so I have to pick the one that has, I have to pick whip one. My whip one was um, Santa of the Forest, so I have to do 300 stitches on Santa of the Forest. Okay, I can handle that. In celebration for Professor Umbridge leaving the school, stitch 300 stitches on any color but pink. No problem. I can handle that. And part three for five bonus points, 400 stitches in honor of the Weasley Twins' famous fifth floor practical joke. If you haven't read the books or seen the movies or whatever, the fifth 
floor practical joke was they turned the fifth floor into a swamp. So, how perfect is that? That I have a swamp right there. So, I'm going to do 300 stitches of any color but pink. Probably going to see how many stitches I can get done for the mummy and finishing up this block. And then I will work 400 stitches on the swamp. Perfect, right? I think it's going to be perfect. And it gets me to work more on this because I do want to crank this one out because I have two other ones that are on 40 count and yeah <laughs> I need to work on those 40 counts before my eyes get too bad okay so purchases here we go if I had checked my mail before I sat down last week I would have found out that I had gotten my Victoria Motto Sampler limited edition floss was here so I get the Buy 11, get one free. Not the other way around. I don't know what I was talking about last week. Or, yeah, last time. So, Yellow Rose of Texas. Giant Sequoia. That's a nice color. Bavarian Green. Tropical Vines. Sahara Sunset. Spanish Gold, Party Green, which is a DMC conversion of 701, Desert Turquoise, I like that color, Lemon Curds, I was thinking that Lemon Curds is just a little bit of a yellow hint to it, might be good for the fence for the Mummy's Moonlight Cafe because white yellows over age. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Squash on the vine. In fact, I'll pull that one out. Rustic plank. And morning sky. So, yeah, I was really happy. I really like these colors. I will be getting these for at least six months, I think. I think six months, and then I will see where I'm at. If I'm really using any of these colors. Oh, I need to. I need to do that. So I will put those in my stash, and this one will go into my Mummy's Moonlight Cafe. And then I went on to... First I went on Shepherd's Peddler. Shepherd's Peddler's website, and she did not have this pattern that I really wanted, so I went to 123 Stitch, and they did. So, I picked up a Barbara Anna, the branch. Come with me, all hollows night. So it says, Come with me, all hollows night. will frighten everyone in sight. Such pranks for once are justified, and fun and frolic amplified. So that is so cool. It is done on a 32 count. They say vintage mocha. I picked up a 32 count vintage country mocha. So, and it sits this way. So I think it'll be cool. It is done on with DMC and um, DMC and anchor. So I'm just going to use the floss I have. So this will be an October start because I'm going to go crazy in October with all my Halloween starts and working on Halloween stuff. And no pattern can go alone, or so they say, and mine does, but I just really thought this was cute. This is the White Witch Dames of the Needle. So she's little and she's done with Gentle Arts and Weeks. So I'll just use what I have. And I picked up this 36 count Bramble Enberg by Picture This Plus. And so she will sit like this. And she's small, so I might have a lot of this left over for any of those Halloween ones that were in the magazine that I wanted to do. So, 
that's exciting 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 and I'm probably gonna change out the white because this is so light that I might have to figure out a, a brighter color well that bright white might work yeah yeah I'll figure it out I will figure it out so knitting I think I only worked on Elias by Lynn Zimmerman and this is on uh, I'm using Kotlin by P uh, Knit Picks and I'm using a size 6 US 4.0 millimeter I am on the decrease ball yay so I obviously started decreasing so I did this last week so I knit a lot last week this is where it's at right now so it's gonna be nice and long and I can wrap it around and keep myself nice and warm so the colorway is planetarium if you're wondering and it's 70% cotton and 30% linen alrighty and spinning I have a FFO with the spinning so here is my fully finished fiber so I got three 230 yards of a two ply and this is uh, into the world follow the butterfly in the August of 2014 club colorway so it turned out really nice it's still a little damp because what I did was I spun both the bobbins or the, I spun two bobbins and let them rest for a long time and I started a new project while these were resting because I let my singles rest for a long time because I don't trying to spin overly energized yarn is hard to do so or singles so that is what I have right now and there's just a slight twist not too bad not too bad so I'm very happy with how that turned out so what I picked up to spin and while I was waiting to ply is uh, the first draft I got this at the second SSK I went to the super summer knit together so this is road trip four ounces in Rambouillet and this is what it looks like I just tore it in half I took this bobbin here that's where I'm at I shredded it into smaller length shredded it this way into small almost like pencil roving and this one I this two ounces I'm going to separate and put all of the oranges together all of the blues together and all of the browns together and spin it that way so it'll be almost like a gradient on this side and this side will be fractally so you'll get pops of color with this one and you'll get long color runs with this so that will be a lot of fun to see what comes out with that but yeah I will be working, starting to work on that tonight. I spin at night while I'm watching TV. If I feel up to spinning, that is what I do. So, that is all I've got for you this week. Yeah, that's all I've got for you this week. So I hope that everybody has a great week. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.